discovered in researching Amy Ashwood Garvey was that for Pan-Africanists, social spaces and social activities were an important means of building political alliances. Ashwood Garvey was instrumental in establishing several social spaces in London, among them a hostel for Nigerian students and a community center that offered relocation services and social activities for West Indian and African migrants. Most significantly, Ashwood Garvey opened the Florence Mills Social Parlor, a restaurant and jazz club named in honor of a cabaret singer who used her fame to advocate for the rights of African Americans. Few surviving records of, the floor, of events at the Florence Mills exist, so any discussion of the political activities it nurtured are up for speculation. However, my research suggests that the Florence Mills was more than just a nightclub and restaurant. It was an institution that provided a much needed meeting place for supporters of Pan-Africanism. A wide range of activities that focused on political thinking and economic planning took place at the Florence Mills, as it was one of the few places in Britain where members of the Pan-African movement regularly encountered each other. C.L.R. James, Ross McConan, and George Padmore were among the well-known Pan-African thinkers who frequented the Florence Mills. Legend has that it was not unusual to see them engaged in heated ideological discussions while enjoying the venue's Caribbean-inspired menu and ambiance. The Florence Mills also served as a meeting place for various Pan-African organizations, including the International African Friends of Abyssinia, an organization established in response to Italy's invasion of Ethiopia in 1935, and the International African Service Bureau, an organization that published a series of short-lived journals that disseminated Pan-African ideals and alerted the British public to the problems in Africa. Another thing I discovered while researching Amy Ashford Garvey was that the Pan-African movement had a grassroots community service com component that the movement's historians have ignored. A perfect example of this was Ashwood Garvey's activism surrounding the Notting Hill race riots, a series of racially motivated riots that took place in London over several nights in late August through early September 1958. In response to the violence, Ashwood Garvey formed the Association for the Advancement of Colored People, an organization that, like its American namesake, advocated for the civil rights of the black community. Black communist Claudia Jones, who was Ashwood Garvey's dear friend, served as the AACP's general secretary, and together, the two women established a defense, a defense committee, which offered advice on how to deal with racial discrimination and legal services to those who were arrested while defending themselves during the riots. 